Rim of the Pacific 2010 is underway at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam in Hawaii. The Navy's first littoral combat ship, USS Freedom, is taking part in the exercise. Lance Corporal Kevin Beebe has the story. I'm standing here at Hospital Point on Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, and behind me, the USS Bonham Richard is heading down the channel. She's one of 14 nations, 32 ships, five subs, and more than 170 aircraft arriving in Hawaii for RIMPAC 2010, the largest maritime exercise in the world. RIMPAC is one of the first big tests for the USS Freedom, the Navy's first littoral combat ship. This is our first opportunity to really develop what Freedom can do and an LCS can do within a strike group. We bring a bigger capability for close inshore small boat attacks, boardings also on other ships. We'll get to do some, uh, some tactical maneuvering with other countries. Uh, it's pretty exciting because a lot of that stuff we haven't had the opportunity to do. And so we're kind of making history with Freedom and, uh, and setting the bar. RIMPAC has three phases. First, the harbor phase consisting of planning, briefings, and sporting events. Second, the operational phase, which includes live fire exercise and wartime maneuvers. The final phase is scenario driven, where coalition partner nations work on strengthening maritime skills in simulated hostile situations. The 2010 RIMPAC theme is combined agility, synergy, and support. It is the 22nd year for the exercise. Lance Corporal Kevin Beebe Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Hawaii.